everyone. How are you? I hope you're doing so good today. We are going to be making one of my favorite things and it can be found in my cute little cookbook on page 31. It's Paula Deen's Easy Pot Pie. When I was growing up, oh my gosh, I loved pot pie with my whole soul. And sometimes it can be like there can be a lot if you're like do, making the pie crust and doing all of that, but this is Paula Deen's little version. And so we're gonna be using the Bisquick mix at the end to put it on the top. Anyway, it's gonna be great. So let's get started. So first you just need to, in a very large bowl, you're going to be putting two cans of cream of chicken soup. I'm gonna use my great little spatula that I love so much. All right, so there's one. You need to go ahead and preheat your oven to 350. Okay. Then you're going to add one cup of sour cream. So I've got that all measured out and ready. I'm gonna add that. And then you need a half of a cup of milk. We're gonna be saving the other half um, for when we mix it with the Bisquick, okay? So we're gonna need a half of a cup Okay, let's see, perfect. I'll put this over here. All right, then we're just gonna add all of our seasonings. And so you're gonna need a half of a teaspoon of dried parsley, and then you just need a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. We're gonna put in a quarter of a teaspoon of garlic powder and then a quarter of a teaspoon of pepper. Okay, and then we're just gonna kind of mix all of this up. Stir this up really well. The flavorings, oh goodness, I love that salt and pepper and garlic powder. And the parsley makes it just look so pretty too. Okay. So you get that all mixed up really well. And then you're going to take just a 12 ounce package of frozen mixed vegetables, okay? And you wanna thaw them, and then you're just gonna put them in this soup mixture. And then you wanna take three cups of ch cooked chopped chicken. And I, all the time I use the rotisserie chicken. And so we have already taken all of this off the bone. So you're gonna add that. And then just mix this up really well. looks so good. It's going to taste amazing. Okay, now I'm going to set this aside for just a minute and I'm going to get my smaller bowl and now you're just going to take, let's see, it's one and a half cups of baking mix so you can use the Bisquick, which I love Bisquick, and then you're going to take a half of a cup of sharp cheddar cheese and add that. And then your half of a cup of milk. Okay. And then we're gonna mix this all up. I might have put a little too much milk in here, we'll see might have to add a little bit more baking mix to this. Just a little bit. Yeah, I 
think I'm just going to add a little bit more. And I'm not even going to measure it. I'm just going to kind of put just a little bit in there. Okay. That is better. I think I had too much milk left over from that one, from that one cup. Um, all right. And then you get your... 13 by 9 casserole dish. I've already sprayed this with some oil and then you're just going to add your chicken mi mixture. Just going to dump this in. There's a place here in Alabama where you can get chicken pot pie soup. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Ah, I love it. I always leave there. I'm miserable when I leave there. I always tell Daryl, I say, don't give me, remind me every time I come not to get the bowl, just to get the cup because it's plenty. Okay, so here we have our chicken mixture in our casserole dish. And now we're just going to take and put some of these, or put this biscuit mixture on the top. And so you just kind of take, take it like this. Now you can spoon it out. Um, if you don't have one of these cool little scoopers. want to double the biscuits you certainly can if you want to have a little bit more biscuit mixture but this is going to be so good all right now I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it in the oven and it will be in there for 35 to 40 minutes so I'll see you in just a bit So this pot pie was in the oven for 35 minutes and it looks amazing. I know I mentioned before that maybe you want to put more, um, maybe you could rest double the biscuit part of the recipe, but honestly, when they, you know, when they bake, <laughs> I don't have the words right now, when they bake, they're going to get nice and puffy and they're going to just rise. So that's up to you what you want to do. But um, so you don't necessarily have to double the recipe because it looks like it's going to be amazing. All right, now I'm just going to use, I'm just going to take this little part right here out. It smells so good. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, I'm going to break this up a little bit. I'm gonna take a bite of it. I know it's gonna be yummy. Mm -mm. This is like the ultimate comfort food. So good, it's getting cool here. Um, this is so easy. I hope that you guys can see that. Miss Annie tries really hard to just give you recipes that are simple and easy. I have so many of you who that is really what you prefer and that's how I cook. Simple, easy ingredients that you have or aren't hard to get. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this recipe. You guys know how much I love you. I appreciate you. Remember that that recipe is in my cookbook. You can order this cookbook at Miss Annie's Home and Kitchen. Dot com. Uh, the link is always in this post. 
um, be looking for number two cookbook that is coming out at the end of this month and we will let you know when that happens of course you can pre-order that and the link will be in this post also we have all kinds of things going on at miss annie's home and kitchen all because of you because you guys have loved on me and supported me and you just do not know what that means i appreciate you guys so so much always remember that you can do hard things and i will see you next time bye everyone Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and be sure and press the bell. Push that thing because it will then give you a notification every time I post a video, which is every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 10 o'clock.